In this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate the panel control. So let's go ahead and create a new item in our demo folder. Again, Visual C Sharp, in a web form, code behind page, and let's call it containers.aspx. Go to your design view. And let's drag a checkbox into our div and let's also grab a panel and drop it onto our div. Now because I've lost the checkbox I'm going to go to the properties window and select my checkbox. Let's add some text. This way we know what the checkbox is for. And also, auto post back, we're going to set the true. What that does is triggers the browser to send a request back to the server to redesign or reformulate the HTML that will be displayed on the web browser when this checkbox is clicked. And let's set the panel to invisible. Add some text to the panel so that we know that it's showing or not showing. Just a view of our source. This is how it should look. And we need to create the code. So let's go ahead and click on our show panel checkbox. By the way, I use the breadcrumbs to actually get back to the checkbox so I could see it in the design view. Let's change the panel one visible property to whatever the current property of checkbox one is. This is basically going to return a true or a false from the checkbox one and pass it to the visible property of panel one. Rewrite the code, HTML, and re-deliver it back to the web browser each time the checkbox is clicked. That concludes this tutorial.